I'm starting off by applying some red grease paint onto my skin with a Q-tip. The red I'm using has a pink undertone. I'm using this kind of red because I have a pale skin with a pink undertone. Some of you might have a darker skin or a skin with a yellow undertone. And you'll need to experiment with different kinds of red to figure out what looks the best on your skin. I'm using a Q-tip to apply the paint in circular motions. You can also use your finger or a soft brush. It's always helpful to look at real pictures of rashes to figure out how you want your red area to look. I'm applying some big patches and some smaller ones in between them. The small ones really help to make it look more realistic. It's important to blend everything out, that's why you should never apply too much paint at once. Next up I'm taking some liquid latex in a toothpick. I'm using the latex to apply some small bumps onto my skin. Again, you can look at real rashes to get a better idea of what you want your rash to look like. It's important to not use too much latex, you don't want to add a big blob of latex because it will dry really slowly. You want to add big bumps and small bumps, and you only want to apply the latex inside the red area, don't apply it on the rest of your skin. So go nuts and fill in the red area and wait for it to dry. You will know your latex is dried when it has turned completely translucent. This can take up to 50 minutes depending on how thick you applied your latex. After it is dried you want to powder it off with some translucent powder or baby powder. This will make it look less shiny. After powdering the rash area I'm taking a q-tip with some water on it and I'm wiping off the excess powder. This makes the bumps look more realistic. You can add more or less powder or even add some more grease paint on top of the bumps. It really depends on what kind of rash you want to create. So this is what our first rash looks like. I actually like the second rash more, which I discovered after wiping off this makeup look. So for the second rash you want to apply some of the red grease paint you used before on the bumpy area. I'm using a sponge to apply it. I applied it rather quickly, but I do suggest you take your time for it. So just add some of the red paint on top of the bumps and blend it out.
After you've applied some red, you can now wash your skin with some water. Because I used grease paint, the paint won't wash off easily. The latex, however, will be easier to peel. Especially if you make a rolling motion instead of pulling every little bump. When you've removed the latex, dry your hands with some paper towel and enjoy your new rash. I really like this one because it looks so natural. You can experiment with the different patterns and colors and find out what looks the best on your skin tone. So I hope you guys liked this simple tutorial. If you have any questions, suggestions or requests, you can leave a comment on this video or send me a message on Facebook. See you guys until next time. Bye!